Hello, this is Paul Cheney. I'd like to introduce you to the Tascam uh, DR05 audio recorder. To turn it on, you press and hold the power button for several seconds until the display lights up. Once the recorder is on, you can see several things in the display. Down here at the bottom, it says that there's no music file. Well, we're going to record one right now. Press the record button and the record button flashes. That means it's in standby mode. It is not recording. With the recorder in standby mode, you can now adjust the volume with these two play and previous things at the bottom. Watch right here at the very bottom of the display. You'll see that the volume is changing. Right now it's at 12, 11, 10, all the way down to zero. Even at zero, I'm still getting some sort of a signal. You can see the L and the R bouncing over here. I'm currently recording through these two microphones and we'll override that here in a second. The goal is to have the volume peak out at this little triangle here you see on the display. You never want to go over that and you certainly don't ever want to clip it. So as I turn the volume up, what I want to do is read my script, have my talent read the script while I watch the volume control for two or three seconds. Once I'm confident that the volume is okay, then I can go ahead and actually do a real recording. To do a real recording, you press the record button a second time. Now the record light stays on solid, and I can see that my counter is at seven, eight, nine seconds. So I can see that I'm actually recording by that there. Let's go ahead and stop this recording. And now let me show you the microphone that we'll be using. The microphone comes in three parts. The first part plugs into the audio recorder. The second part contains an on-off switch and inside of here is there is a small watch battery. That then connects to the actual microphone which you'll clip on your collar or whatever. Let's go ahead and switch the microphone on and when you're done make sure you switch it off otherwise that battery goes dead and this thing is worthless. We're now going to plug into the top this external microphone and I'm going to clip this part onto my lapel. Now that I've got clipped on I will go ahead and press the record button and I'll probably have to readjust my volume levels because this microphone is more sensitive and more close to my mouth. So I'm going to drop the volume down so that as I read my script I'm walking around testing one, two, three, four. I'm looking over here one, two, three, four. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead now and Click record. Now this time it's for real. Shop from the comfort of your side or your dorm room. Get it together using our online application. Click stop. Now to play it back, you go to the menu, which is over here on the top left corner. You move down to the browse setting. Click the right arrow. And you can see that I've got two recordings so far. Number 22 and number 23. 22 is the first one I did. 23 is the one I just recorded with the lapel mic. If I click play, it will play through my headphone jack, which is over here on the left side, which is currently not connected. If you have headphones, this is the very best way to hear the sound. If you don't, you can go back to the menu, you can go down to speaker, click the right arrow, and you can activate the speaker by switching it to on, go back to the menu, go back to browse, and then you can play. There's a little tiny speaker here on the back. It's not very good, but it does let you know that something was actually recorded. Now, my preference is to take a good set of headphones or earbuds, and as I'm recording or test recording, to plug them in here and monitor, make sure they don't have any crackling in this cable, make sure it's in tight and everything's set, ready to go. When you're done recording, you can use a USB cable, plug it in here on the side, plug it into your computer, and download these audio files to your desktop where you can then edit them in Premiere or some other program.